Okay, this is Alpha Droid. I made a video on Alpha Droid version 1.1, that first initial version, which is a custom room based on CR Droid, and it's having a lot of customizations. A new UI, a kind of a different edition. If you want to give it a try, you can. This is Alpha Droid version 1.5.1. What are the features of this Alpha Droid custom room? And if you want to try it out, if you want to try this custom room on your device, why you should and which are the great features which you should try out on your device after installing Alpha Droid. This is based on Android 13. It's having the main security patch. Firstly, if you take a look at the UI in the terms of customizations, you can see every kind of customizations, of course, present here, but the UI is a bit different. The best thing about this UI is it can be changed. If you don't like that, you can simply change this thing. And we have three options to to customize the settings UI. Let me show you which are the features available in the settings UI. Firstly, we have approximately three options. We have AOSP style, we have dot style, dot, which means if you have ever used dot OS, okay, this is the UI. This is dot OS style UI. And to be very honest, I love this kind of UI. I made a video on dot OS, which I made a video some time ago regarding that best customization UI, best UI so far, and this is dot OS. And if you don't like any one of that, you can simply choose the default stock UI, but by default, it is aiming this NAD and uh, this is how the UI is looking like. It doesn't look that bad and I think so you will love that and it's looking like Nusantara OS so far. So if you like Nusantara OS, you will love this thing too. Moving on to some other options, it is having UI theming options. What this UI theming option is, this is like this. For example, I just applied this Shishu Nights option. Now the UI is actually looking quite transparent, depends upon which wallpaper you are using. As you can see, it's kind of really transparent and blue styles everywhere. Same like that, if you move on to the other options, we have UI style and we have Shishu Illusions. So if I enable this option, you can see now we have kind of white UI. If I enable this next order, you will see fonts will be changed and the padding, etc. So these are some interesting theming options not available in every custom. These are available there, but not in every custom. Quite useful. The best thing about this custom, room, according to me, is the status bar padding options. It's it's a very underrated feature, but it's a very useful feature, at least for my kind of users, because I need this option. Left padding, right padding options are kind of available in many custom homes, but that top padding option is so useful in some cases, because sometimes I don't like those status bar icons. I want to place those icons both at the bottom or at the top, or I want to change the, those padding options. Padding things are not available but in this custom room this option is present expectedly if we move on to the quick settings panel options you will see the quick settings styles options we have the quick settings header images option which is just kind of same thing nothing unique here uh, but we have the squiggle animation option available if you don't like that android 13 or android 12 style squig squiggle animation while playing music that progress bar if you don't like that you can simply disable that that's also something really interesting and it's available in dubfest os as far as i know and even maybe in spark os too Moving on to the miscellaneous options, you will be able to notice we have the Netflix spoofer, we have the unlimited photo storage, higher FPS in games, and ignore window secure flags, parallel space, etc. etc. Almost same kind of features and options available in other custom homes too. Based on CR Red, having all the CR Red features as expectedly. Moving on to the default launcher. I don't think so. There is any surprise in the default launcher features and everything is looking just so same here. And expectedly, it's not having the pixel launcher. But of course, we should not have that pixel launcher pre-installed. App drawer, recents, all these options are present. Quick settings panel, by the way, is in the light mode. If you use light mode, you will see the light quick settings panel. If you use a dark mode, you will see the dark quick settings panel. So this is about Alpha Droid version 1.5.1 or Alpha Droid customer this is based on CR as I just mentioned if you want to give it to try you can in this default launcher you also have the option to customize the icon pack you have the option to customize the fonts you have the option to customize the icon shape all these options are present here in some other custom homes too nothing unique but it's just kind of like if you want to try out something different in the terms of settings UI or few of the features like status bar padding etc else things are basically same just a normal custom home with a different name. If you want to give it a try, link is already available in the description. And if you want to explore some more custom home videos, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe the channel. We'll give you a lot of videos very, very soon. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.